Hello, yes, that's right, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Today, we're gonna to be looking at how to set up and use the on-the-fly jib Cunningham or downhaul system on a tight-rigged catamaran. When we're talking about tight-rigged catamarans, we're talking about boats which have a predetermined amount of rig tension on, such as the F-18, such as the Hobie Tiger, uh, the Tornado F-16, um, Hurricane 5.9, boats like many of the Nacras. Um, so what we're not talking about here is boats which have a wire luff in the jib, like the Hobie 16, uh, the most obvious example. So let's take a look at how we set up this on the fly system. So perhaps it is actually a bit of a misnaming of the system rather than it being a downhaul. It is a variable tension halyard system, but that has the same effect as downhaul or Cunningham. So what we're doing is this is actually on this particular boat the halyard is quite short so what we have is this line here is tied off on the chain plate under this cover it then goes up to the pulley inside the zip there which goes on to the halyard it then comes down from that pulley and here we're doing it very simply we're running it through a ring here which is attached to the bridle wires and then from the ring there it's coming down next door to the bridle wire through another ring at the bow tang on the front of the boat there and then from there it's coming back to a block where one end of that block is tied off on the dolphin striker and the other end is going through a cleat on the front beam. This means that while we're sailing we can adjust the tension in the luff of the jib from here. Very handy indeed. What we want to do first with the jib downhaul when we're ready to go out sailing is we just want to pull enough on so if that's totally loose we just want to pull enough on to get the creases out of the jib so that's not going to be a, a lot of tension and then that amount of jib downhaul is going to be correct for light winds because with less downhaul exactly the same as on the main sail it puts more shape into the sail which is going to deliver us a bit more power and then what we find is as we get more wind we need to increase the tension in the jib sheet so much like with the main sail when we pull the jib sheet in it actually has the effect of pulling the jib down like this which is going to put creases into the luff of the sail when we're getting those creases that is when we need to pull on more jib cunning them but to get more on what you'll need to do is loosen the jib off first then pull more on and then we'll sheet the jib in again and have a look see how she's looking in regard to creases. So again, this is working very much like the downhaul on the mainsail. Um, as we sheet in harder, we're flattening the sail, and then as we downhaul more, we're flattening the sail more. So this is really good for high winds. So it's pretty straightforward really, as loose as possible, but with no creases in light winds, then when you're sheeting the jib in hard because it's windy and you want to flatten the jib off, then it's time to pull the jib Cunningham on. One thing to be careful of is we never want to have the luff of the jib 
tighter than the four stay. So if um, when you're setting this up on the land, if you put it on pretty hard, if you see the four stay go slack, that means we've actually taken the, all of the weight of the rig on the luff of the jib. That means we've taken all of the weight of the rig on the jib, which is going to damage the jib and it's going to stretch. What we should do to avoid this is to put a mark, maybe a piece of tape on the jib downhaul line so that we know what our maximum is. So there we go. Pretty straightforward really. Just be careful not to pull too much on. Of course, this is only gonna work if you've got the correct amount of rig tension on the boat. If you're not sure about your rig tension, check out this video here. And I'll see you soon with some more on Joyrider TV. Thank you very much.